here's how you do a time stop effect. First, get a picture of yourself jumping, or a video, excuse me. Don't change those frame rates. And then go in, grab exactly where you want your time stop to be, and take Add Still Frame to Project from the right click. Go ahead and fit that instead of cropping or Ken Burnsing it. And you'll have your main time stop effect. Wonderful. So then go down and find your video of whatever you're doing to make time stop. For example, yourself clapping, snapping, I don't know, saying something, it could be anything. Go ahead and take that, add that to the project, and do what we did last time in the cloning effect tutorial, green screen it in. You'll get this screen, and green screen. These are the advanced tools, by the way. You're going to have to go to uh, preferences and click that if you don't have them already. So, once again, go to Cropped, grab the pins, put them up in the corner, and find where your main point is, where your actors are closest to each other. That way, we'll make sure that they're not overlapping, touching, or making any sort of mistake there where you go out of frame. There we go, that's good. Nice, nice. First try, too. Okay. Once again, we've got that little dirty effect going on, so you can, you know, change it to whatever you want. I'm going to make it black and white just for the sake of ease, because black and white always will work. That's why, that's why one of my films, uh, Mr. Diddly Doo, is actually done in black and white. A lot of these effects really were impossible to do without it. But, if you're good and you have a good camera, you can do it without this sort of weird, messy, blobby stuff. Fortunately, we can also bring it down if you don't have a good camera. And I have a meh camera. So once you've done that, you have the first part of your time effect. You could stop here if you want to. But what if you want a thing where you clap again and time restarts? Well, here's how you do it. Go to the end of where you were uh, time stopping in your fall or jump or whatever you're doing for your time stop. Grab it exactly where it was. Pull it out to where you fall, just like that. And put it right in. Go up to your to yourself clapping, drag it out, and of course change the color. Like that. And there you go, you have your effect. That line down the middle is pretty pretty nice. It could be a little uh less obvious, but I'm satisfied with it. In the end, the effect should look a little something like this. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting some new videos ready, so stay tuned for those coming up pretty soon. If you have any questions about this particular tutorial, please leave a comment below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.